are getting into the zone in your business of um, creating, recording, and um, tracking the processes of what you do, how you do them, and getting them down on paper or onto video, then this week's episode is for you. Hello, it's Emma Mills here, and welcome to episode 186 of my TV. And today I'm focusing in on those people out here who are in that mindset, which I think you get to, it like either just happens natural or you're forced to at some point in your business to look at, oh my gosh, like these, all these different things that happen and um, I want other people to be able to do them. So I need some processes or checklists or videos to show them how to do that or I can't just let it all be a single point of failure or I'm going to get somebody to start helping me so I need to show them how to do it. And I want to record it into processes, and 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 I mean, that like let me just say one thing that overrides everything I'm about to say. Prolific beats perfect. So whether a process for you is just literally some bullet points, or whether it is a uh, and the best way always, whether you're doing a task and you video it, and there's so many lovely options now like Loom.com, BombBomb, and um, Screen Recorder on your on your laptop. There's loads of ways to just literally record it while you're doing it and you've done like you do the task, record it, and so you can see exactly what you're doing. It's so easy now to create processes. You don't have to be an admin whiz to do it. You know, you don't have to know what SOPs are and how to name them in different versions. Like literally just starting is uh, is is way beyond that to where most small business owners ever get because they're just kind of like everything's in my head and, and other people just have to kind of find out the way or follow my instructions. But just starting is awesome. So if you're in this process where you are starting to collate things together, one of the questions I get asked quite a lot is, okay, well, I've, I've got this stuff and how do I put it into one central place or what do I do with it? So I've got two um, options for you today. Um, and option one, so... Basically, the option you should never do is you should never just store it on your machine locally because that is surefire disaster. I mean, one, only you're going to have access to it. Uh, two, if anything ever happens to a machine, and to be fair, that goes for anything now in life. Never ever store anything directly on your own machine because you're going to be absolutely screwed if something happens to it. So Dropbox, SharePoint, uh, Google Drive, all awesome for an initial folder structure. And, you know... I, whether that's split up into like different like marketing processes, operational service, or whether it's just different services that you have in there. If you need any help with that, like the basics of that and, and getting processes done and collated, then uh, hit us up, you know where we are. But for sure, like a shared um, folder system, really, really helpful. Share it with members of your team, have things in the one place. And while it, I feel like often, unless you're the kind of person that loves doing admin, it's like a task there where you like, it's like the last thing you want to do. Um, but I will say that if you just start with one a week, one a month, um, it, probably in 2017 is when we started to put the most effort into this and realized that we needed to really, really nail down our processes. I mean, I think we've got like 1,300 and something now um, in our ops manual. Um, but yeah, just starting is um, like it's the kind of thing where one by one they just layer up, layer up, layer up. Before you know it, you've got forty processes, sixty, eighty, and and again, if you just really, really drill into when you're actually doing something, cre recording it or creating the list at the same time saves loads of time. But my quick win um, for actually the storing of processes, um, how you share them with your team. What we use in my PA is a piece of a software called sweetprocess.com. Now, we have been using it since, I need to actually double check, but it, it does feel like 2017. Um, it's somewhere around then anyway. And the reason why I'm trying to talk about Sweet Process and not just stick to sharing um, processes inside a shared folder is because Sweet Process has some really cool features that that really make it valuable for, for my PA. So. Sweet process very simply is, and you'll see um, you'll you'll see a little example of it in the video. It's it's very simply a place where operational procedures get stored. But the reason why we like it so much, and we've been using it for so long, is that it um, it allows you to share processes with members of your team, 
and it asks them it, it then asks them to approve that they understood and have read it so you know like you might share a process with someone they go and do it it's completely wrong they've not looked at it at all and you're like well i shared it with you so you process has the function for somebody to sign off timestamp that they've read it completely understand it and can now carry out this task so it's a really good accountability point of well you've shared it you've signed it off why have you still not followed it so it's really good for timestamping who has read what processes and when and you know who's good to go on what parts of the business um, it's really awesome at sharing it with specific teams and um, keeping things uh, in, in areas that only certain team members can see. It allows you to assign process tasks to other team members so that they can you assign it to them and they literally start ticking it off as the task is completed. It creates really lovely process flows so you might have like all the nitty gritty detail but then what it also creates is a really nice visual of the steps and the flow of how the steps work from one to the other. And so the bit that we really love about Sweet Process is the fact that we can have different versions of um, an individual process. So what I mean by that is, so let's say um, how to use the photocopier version one. Um, blah 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 we get a new photocopier machine and then we need a version 2 because it's slightly changed sweet process does a really fab job at tracking the changes and keeping versions of processes so we know the changes that have been made and it's because as you can imagine the one thing that can become slightly tricky as you grow and you have lots of processes I really need to find a different word for process a lot of processes in folders it's a bit more reliant on human um, interaction and human error or human um, uh, the doing of like updating documents saving them uh, saving the right version when you make when you edit a, so you approve a process in sweet process then when you go to edit it you make any changes you have to reapprove it you have to get everybody to re-sign it off to understand to make sure that they know how to do it that they've understood it don't have any questions that's what's really awesome about it for us um the, the price we pay is around 99 dollars a month for 20 people but i do know that you can contact them and they have pricing for five ten one person you know different different ones that's just what it costs us with the number of people that we have in it and they also don't charge you if somebody goes um dormant in it or doesn't really use sweet process so it is like that next level of managing and monitoring and maintaining the things as you grow um it honestly saves us lots of money every month by having it because it's administered so well in the one place and it is an an ops manual to sounds dramatic but live and die by like you know the thing always in my head is that if I couldn't go into work tomorrow for a month with my ops manager or if some anybody in the company who has a responsibility for something just cannot do whatever they do for whatever reason we want to make sure that we have as much of that recorded um, and in the one place and sweet process helps us do that really efficiently and um, again just like calendar the other week i am not paid to say this i just tell you the things that work really well in my pa because i want them to work really well for you and to make the journey of owning a business just that little bit less stressful so i hope this week's episode gets your head out of the dirt and into the clouds and i'll see you next week for episode 187 see you then bye bye